Hey guys, it's me Dave from the Kodo, and we're going to be doing a new tutorial series. I'm going to be going piece by piece in the Applied Energistics mod. Uh, this first part, we're going to go with the very basics of getting started, and as you can see behind me, we have the controller and the ME chest. So we're going to be going over these two pieces as well as some of the storage units in this episode of uh, Applied Energistics. Uh, this is the bare minimum that you need to get started to get going, and we're going to go over those next. Alright, to get things started off, you're going to notice that there is a new uh, ore in the world. It's Certus Quartz Ore. This can be mined with a stone pick and a bump. And you'll notice this in your world generation. And you can see that it drops a couple of different things. There are Certus Quartz and Certus Quartz Dust that drop from the ore. <clears throat> you're going to need a ton of both. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to look into making is the ME Controller. As you can see right here, flux, fluxed crystal will be used with quartz, quartz uh, certus quartz, and redstone. And then the advanced processor. Uh, these are going to be a big part of what you are uh, making in this mod. There's the diamond one and the gold one. This one happens to be the diamond one. It's made with a diamond, some redstone, silicone, and a certus quartz cutting knife. The silicone is made by cooking the, uh, the dust either nether quartz dust or certus quartz dust. So once you have created the controller, you'll notice that it has an interface and it has its offline. It has it needs to have power to function. Now this can take any type of power as long as sustained power. It does tick away as you're going. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to put just a redstone energy cell here. And as you can see, it's slowly ticking away at the power. So it needs a sustained power source. And you can see that it's online now. This alone does not do anything other than uh, tie a wireless controller to it, which we'll get in in a later part. So the next part we're going to be looking at is the ME chest. Here's a recipe for that. And the conversion matrix is made like so. And you can see another basic processor. This one is the one made with a gold ingot. Same as the diamond, just replaced with a gold ingot. Uh, like I said, you're going to be needing a ton of these. Now, any of the ME or the uh, applied energistics pieces that are placed next to each other will draw power from each other. So you can see that this now can be powered, and you can see that it's here. The chest is here. Now, alone, this chest does nothing. What you need are some of these storage units. There's 1K, 4K, 16K, and 64K. And let me just grab one of those. So the recipe for this is as seen here for the 1K. As you go up in uh, in storage size, they do get more complex. Uh, when you're looking at the storage unit, you can see that zero of 100 or th zero of 1,024 bytes is used of, in zero 63 types. So these can each hold 63 different types of items from the game. And depending on how big of them of a storage unit you have, they can hold more of that. So here's the recipe for the 1K. It's the very smallest. Storage cell is made like this. And again, you can see the basic processor, which is made out of the basic, basic cooking the basic processor assembly, which I showed you before. So now when you're in the ME chest, you can take this and put it right there. And you can see that this becomes active. And now what you can do is you can place any of your items in here. And it will sort them for you. Uh, if you have large quantities of items like cobble oops we can put those all in there and it will keep them all together and all in one block this is a cobble slab I'm gonna want that cobblestone so then I can pull out a half of uh, I can pull them out as I need them and put them back in now, the cool thing about this is now that it's in this considered being stored inside of the storage, which you can see now it's using 89 bytes and has five different types. I can then take this out and I can bring it to anywhere else in my world that has an ME chest, put it back in, and they're all still there. 
So this is the basic, most basic setup that you need to get started with applied energistics. Uh, in future tutorials we will go into more advanced storage arrays and some more uh, auto crafting options that we have here. Uh, but this is all you need to get going and get started with your ME storage. Stay tuned for more episodes as we get a little bit more advanced and we move through this mod. I thank you for tuning in. I am Dave from the Coda. Like always, good luck and have fun.